Considering a USDA mortgage, understanding the steps involved and the pros and cons can make a world of difference. USDA loans designed to help borrowers in rural and suburban areas can be a fantastic opportunity for many. So what does it take to qualify for a USDA mortgage? Firstly, you need to determine your eligibility. USDA loans are specifically for low to moderate income individuals and families in designated rural and suburban areas. You can check your eligibility by looking at the USDA eligibility map or contacting a USDA approved lender. Next, you'll need to verify your income. USDA loans have income limits based on the area and family size. It's crucial to provide documentation proving your income falls within these guidelines. Credit checks are part of the process too. While USDA loans offer more flexibility with credit requirements, a minimum credit score might still be necessary. Lenders will assess your credit history to determine your credit worthiness. Then there's property eligibility. The home you're interested in must be in a designated rural or suburban area and meet USDA property standards. You may wonder about the down payment. USDA loans typically don't require a down payment. However, closing costs or other fees might still apply. Some borrowers might need to make a small down payment if their income exceeds a certain threshold. A USDA appraisal is also part of the process. This appraisal helps determine the property's value and ensures it meets program standards. The lender will also evaluate your debt to income ratio. This helps ensure you can afford your mortgage payments. USDA loans are known for having more flexible debt to income ratios. After all the necessary documentation is reviewed and the property appraised, the lender will make a final decision on loan approval. Now let's talk about the pros and cons of USDA mortgages. On the plus side, USDA loans often don't require a down payment, making home ownership more accessible. They also typically offer competitive interest rates and are more flexible regarding credit scores. Plus they offer fixed rate options and have lower mortgage insurance costs compared to FHA loans. But there are some drawbacks to consider. USDA loans have property location restrictions and income limits. Furthermore, they require an upfront funding fee, and the appraisal process may lead to delays. Lastly, USDA loans are not available for properties in densely populated urban areas. In conclusion, USDA loans can be an excellent option for eligible borrowers. They offer numerous benefits, but also carry certain restrictions. Understanding these can help you make an informed decision. Knowledge is power, especially when it comes to your mortgage.